we were having that conversation about um, about wanting to be the wanting to really strike out and make a name for yourselves. A lot of people uh, will go out and they'll find things and they'll put together these robots that are very uh, static, very stiff, very simple. And I didn't want to do that. I thought that that was too. Uh, it just didn't have any personality. I thought if I made them out of antiques, then people would treasure it and they would identify with it and, and it would make them more valuable. Yep. They're expensive parts. But they look so cool. If they didn't look cool, it wouldn't be, it wouldn't be cool. So this particular piece, his name is Max, and I called it Max because it was the maximum amount of everything that I had done at this point. It was a maximum height, maximum of, of parts, um, which was really the driving part about it was that I wanted to do something, because it was a speaker, I wanted to do something fun with the speaker, and so I put a Bose system in it. It uses uh, the old iPod, we've already um, changed those around. But I put on top of this this old microphone, a crooner microphone, and the arms, which are old Volkswagen headlights, uh, bicycle badges from a kid's bike. Uh, the kneecaps are from a 1942 Pontiac with oil cans, and the feet are actually desktop um, fans from an old Westinghouse fan. I can aim at the remote control part. And this is a Zenith radio from the 1930s. Uh, for this, just to keep it fun, uh, you can play anything in here, but uh, if I could take it open, you'd see the entire Bose system has all been kind of put inside of it. I'm really looking for specific parts so you can kind of think about where you're going to find those pieces. Like if I need a bunch of old wrenches and screws and bolts, I'll go to uh, the flea markets. Uh, if I need... Um, I basically know where every antique store is and it becomes kind of a, uh, a, um, a scavenger hunt. You go to an antique store and the guy goes, oh you need old electronics. Well, my old buddy so-and-so who lives like this used to work for NBC and he's got like a whole warehouse full of this. Uh, people whose uh, relatives pass away they'll come through here and they'll say uh, my dad was an electronic engineer, retired, and he's got a house full of stuff. Come on over and check it out, you know. So it's really neat. A lot of the people who come in, they identify with a lot of this, especially um, um, children of parents who were engineers and scientists and fun things like that. And so I go out and I get stuff that way. There's also the internet, um, and um, eBay has like become the antique store of, uh, I think, of this century. 